Hello, welcome back to another vlog. It is the weekend. I'm vlogging the weekend, you guys. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna be a fun one. So I have work this morning um, for like a couple hours. Saturdays are always fun. It's just super high energy. Everyone's having a good time. I love it. And then straight from work, I'm gonna drive down to James's because we're going to a little day festival in San Diego. So it's just one day. I have a cute outfit planned. I'm pretty excited. It's just like house music. Um, honestly, I don't even know the artist or anything. We just got tickets and and called it a day. So a couple of our other friends are going too, so that'll be fun. I'm imagining Sunday will be like a hungover day, which is a fun glimpse into like that other part of my life because I feel like most of my videos are like wholesome, like here's my morning routine, like here's me being healthy. But like my life's pretty well balanced between like being healthy and then like having fun and like drinking and being hungover. So that'll be fun. And then I think I'll just like carry on vlogging into like some of the week as well. So this is my very basic outfit. I'm just wearing my little flared leggings from Dick's Sporting Goods that I thrifted. A little Free People Movement top underneath and then a little Zara sweatshirt on top. And my hokas that are old and worn out. Got my festival stuff, my boots, my baboon to the moon bag, all my stuff ready. Let's go. So I decided to shave in the process of getting ready for the festival and of course I used Harry's razors. So thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. You guys have heard me talk about them before because I've been using them for a long time and I just absolutely love the quality of the blade, the closeness of the shave, how smooth my skin feels afterwards. Harry's isn't just a brand for men, they provide fair priced razors for everyone with no pink tax. Harry's also supports really great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care to veterans and LGBTQ plus plus youth in need. Harry's also owns their own factory in Germany to ensure high quality products and they have a super low price of only $2 per refill. So in the trial set, you get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, their foaming shave gel, which is the best shaving gel I've ever used, and a blade cover, which makes it super easy for traveling. So if you'd like the trial set, you can redeem it for just $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Angelina Nicole. We skipped a day. I did not vlog yesterday at all because there was nothing to vlog. James and I got out of bed like three times yesterday to like go to the bathroom and get food. It was a very, very hungover Sunday, um, which was actually very much needed. I slept for so long and it just felt really good to like not do anything. It was kind of a nice day, so I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't, you know, go outside and enjoy it. But it's okay, we're not beating ourselves up about that. And actually, I went to F45 this morning for the first time. I've been wanting to go for so long and I got like a seven day trial. So <laughs> you know what? It's Monday, we're right back into it. Did a workout, it was pretty intense, like definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I liked how it went by so quickly. So I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow again at 7 a.m. And right now I'm going grocery shopping because I have like no food at my house. That's usually like a typical Monday thing. I feel like I just go shopping for like the week. And then by Monday, I like don't have anything left. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I'm wearing this black crop top that I swear I've been wearing like every day. I need to get more just like basics because that's why I've been wearing it because it's just like so easy to throw on. Um, these like Rolla's jeans that I thrifted, my little Converse and this corduroy jacket from Zara and then my little tote bag from that rancher's daughter that I'll tag below. My little necklace I keep wearing, and there's Dirtle. I haven't eaten anything today also. I've only had a coffee. So actually I might eat something before I go because you don't want to go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Everybody knows that. If this meal doesn't scream, I have no food left in my house. I don't know what does. So a little piece of buttered toast because it is my comfort food of all time and you can never go wrong. And these little protein bites that I made last week they're super yummy. I will be sharing the recipe with you guys soon. I don't know why this isn't loading, <laughs> but I used um, You Can Beam Cinnamon Cereal, I think it's called, um, protein powder, and they literally taste like snickerdoodles, and they're so easy to make, so stay tuned for the recipe. I'm very excited to be sharing it with you guys. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat this really quickly and then go to the store just so that I have something in my stomach before <laughs> I go shopping for food. Okay, we are back with the grocery haul. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I do have a lot of dinners and stuff, so I really just need to get like breakfast and lunch type stuff. So I got some power greens, which Dirtle is currently eating right now. Um, honestly, they're mostly for him. Like I eat them sometimes, but they're mostly his. <laughs> I got this lentil soup because Trader Joe's lentil soup is so, so good. It's just like been really cold and gloomy lately. I just wanted like a nice warm soup, something super easy to eat and just like heat up. Got these vanilla overnight oats that I've heard good things about. I've never had them before, but I just wanna try them for like a quick and easy breakfast. Got some Go Macro Bars. Uh, this flavor is literally the only flavor that matters. And if you disagree with me, uh, I will fight you on it because it is, they're just so good, you guys. Every other flavor I've had, it just doesn't compare. I got these tortillas again because they're really good. It was like my first time trying them last week. And I don't know what it is about them, but the texture is just like, they're really like chewy and I kind of like it. They kind of remind me of like Taco Bell tortillas, which are like obviously very low quality, but I'm sorry. I just really like them, okay? I got some vegan cheese just because I use this in whatever. Got some of these like vegan chicken tender things. I just wanted to get something that was like, a protein that I could use in meals. Um, I got some mushrooms because I have not had mushroom toast in a while and that used to be like all I would ever eat and I just sort of like forgot about them. So had to get that. Got some actual chai tea, got some tofu and some non-dairy creamer. And then I'm going to Friends Miss this week. So I had to pick up some things for that because we're all supposed to bring something. I'm gonna make mold wine. So I got some oranges and some Merlot. I got three bottles. And then I'm gonna make like a three layer or a five layer dip. I don't didn't get all the ingredients. I still have to get like a vegan sour cream and some other things, but I got salsa, guacamole, and refried beans. Okay, I have some leftover white rice, and I think I'm gonna mix this with this soy riso and like heat it up just because I like really need to use this. It's high in protein. Um, so I'm gonna do like a taco. So with these tortillas, some of the power greens. I also have some vegan sour cream and some salsa. Make a quick little lunch with that stuff. Just trying to use up like my old groceries to get, you know, make way for the new stuff. slippers it's so cold this week like it actually feels like winter now and it feels dumb to be complaining because i live in southern california and it's never really that cold but i've been cold i lit some candles out there and i figured i'm gonna show you guys my little like winter nighttime routine it's pretty straightforward but i really like to just like chill out at night i'm not like a night person at all i'm definitely more of a morning person so my activity level is very very high in the morning i'm very productive and like high energy in the morning and then at night all I want to do is like relax, lay down, be comfy, <laughs> like not have to think about anything. So I want to show you guys my nighttime routine because now that it gets dark so early, I like to like make my space feel cozy and comfortable instead of like dark and depressing. So candles are a must, comfy clothes, slippers, things to make you warm. Basically, as you guys saw, I was studying, journaling and working on projects lots of stuff just always like five things going on at once in my life and i have a hard time like 
just focusing on one thing at a time. So I've kind of just been all over the place doing those things today. Today's Monday, so in my journal, I wrote out like my weekly goals and like priorities and things that I need to get done. I've been studying for my nutrition coach course, or no, my nu nutrition coach exam because I really want to take that this month. And I finished all the course material. I just want to study. I don't want to take the exam before I'm like certain that I'm going to pass. So I've just been practicing. I've been so tired today. I don't know why because I laid in bed all day yesterday and got like a bunch of sleep. But I feel like that's why. Actually, I feel like <laughs> when I have a day of like doing nothing, I feel more tired the next day, which is kind of strange. I think I'm going to study for a little bit longer just because there's like a few more things I want to do. I feel like I didn't do it enough today. I've been reading my book a lot as well which I've already mentioned, I'm like trying to read seven books this month and I'm really trying to get finished with these two right now that I'm on. So I'm probably gonna read a lot tonight, which I have been reading a lot before bed. It kind of helps to like quiet my mind. I highly recommend. Okay, for dinner, I made these quesadillas. They look so good. They have like refried beans, vegan cheese and roasted red peppers and bell peppers inside. They have guac and then I made this like salsa with tomato and onion. Um, and then there's like some vegan aioli on top and yeah, looks so good. I know I had tacos for lunch, but you know what? You can never have too much Mexican food in my personal opinion. I'm gonna eat out here. I don't really like going in my room until like bedtime. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like watch something on YouTube or something. Maybe I'll work. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this while I do that and then we will go to my bed. You guys, this tea is so good. I literally drink it every single day. Okay, so I was thinking of what to watch because I like, when I'm by myself, I feel like I don't really watch things unless the, it's The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. Um, I don't know why, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I have to watch things like when I'm with James, like him and I can like watch a bunch of stuff, but by myself, like nothing entertains me enough. I don't know what it is. But then I remembered what season it is and I remembered the movie The Holiday. And I pretty much watch it every year. Like, and I'm not a big, like, rom-com person. Or just, like, romantic movies in general person. It's not really, like, my favorite genre. The Holiday is just, like, peak, peak everything. The cast, amazing. Honestly, anything with Young Jude Law in it, I, I have to watch it. It just does something to me. I can't explain it. Um, I'm also gonna read my book a little bit, so I probably won't end up watching a lot of this movie, but I just wanted to watch something that would make me feel holly and jolly. I'm going to F45 again. I am so sore. Like, pretty much everything's sore. My calves are sore. My Well, my abs are a little bit sore. My back from the rowing machine, oh my god, I did not think, like I knew it was hard yesterday, but I did not expect to be this sore today. Today's strength, which I'm actually excited about, um, she said, the instructor yesterday said that it'll be a lot more slow today, which I feel like I need, because <laughs> yesterday was so intense, but um, yeah, excited, let's go do it. I'm actually dead, I'm going to be so sore tomorrow, I'm so sore today, and Today was like a more of a strength day at 45 and I was thinking it was gonna be easy. It was a lot of um, like lower body, like glutes and legs, which was great because I really wanted to do that at the gym today. I got a coffee from Better Buzz because I'm actually out of coffee. So I feel like I, I did actually need to get this. For some reason, Better Buzz's coffee just like, it's just so good, I don't know why. It was also like $8, so there's that. I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna journal a little bit. Obviously I need a shower because I sweated so much. I had to tie my hair up because I looked like terrifying. Today's a very like rainy, gloomy day again, very stormy. So probably not gonna do anything outside. I just have to work and study. You guys, 
these vlogs are probably gonna be pretty repetitive because I feel like my life is a lot of just doing the same thing every day. But it's all stuff that I love. It's fun. I don't mind. Um, and then I'm working tonight as well. So that's fun. I really, really, really wanted to take the spin class tonight, but one of the girls who I'm working with is taking it. So we need someone at the front desk while she's doing that. So I can't ride, which I'm really sad because it's a holiday ride. We do like theme rides sometimes and I was really excited for it, but it's fine. I don't even know if I could handle it. My body would probably just fall apart <laughs> if I tried to go on a spin bike right now because I'm so sore. All right, so the power just went out in my apartment. I don't know like where else it's gone out, but I haven't made food yet today and I have an electric stove, so I can't make breakfast. I'm really hungry. Probably should have done that earlier, but obviously I didn't anticipate the power going out. So before everything melts and goes rotten in my fridge, I luckily have these overnight oats I got from Trader Joe's, so I'm just gonna eat that. Wait, I forgot. I also have my little protein bites that I made. I'm just gonna have a few of those, the overnight oats. I guess this is an excuse to not have to do work right now. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna read my book for a little bit, even though it's not very bright in my apartment. I think there's enough light to read. <laughs> from work and I'm just gonna have some of this soup for dinner because it's already like eight o'clock and I just want something really quick and easy. Hello, I've literally had a crazy day today and I haven't vlogged all day at all. What did I do? I woke up, I read my book a little bit. I'm on to a new book. I finished my other one. I met up with a friend and grabbed coffee. Actually, I had a chai latte, not coffee. And I've been at James's house because tonight we have a friend's miss, so like a Christmas. We're doing a presentation night. If you guys have seen those on TikToks, we're doing one of those. I made my presentation like last minute last night in like 20 minutes, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm doing a presentation and then we're also doing a white elephant, so I had to get a present today. And then we're also bringing like food, so I'm gonna make mulled wine and I'm also gonna make a five layer vegan dip. So there's a lot going on and that's why I haven't filmed because I've been in just running all over the place. I also apparently dropped my phone because some lady found it and I had to go pick it up from her house. I also had to take photos for an Instagram thing. So I've literally been like nonstop all day and I'm about to make the bean dip. I'm gonna show you guys and I need to wrap my present. So you're just getting like thrown into the deep end right now because life is crazy today is crazy <laughs> okay so this is my white elephant gift it's supposed to be like around 40 dollars so i got this 25 dollar taco bell gift card because literally everyone in like our friend group is obsessed with taco bell i wanted to get like a 40 dollar one but this was the only like price range that they had um so i ended up getting some pacificos just because like i don't know taco bell's like kind of mexican food and then i just like last minute couldn't think of anything so this is my gift <laughs> I just got home from James's house, got a little Starbucks. Guys, my bean dip, my five layer dip turned out so good. Like, I brought it home with me because I'm obsessed. <laughs> I ate so much of it last night, my stomach kind of hurts because I just like couldn't stop myself, but so good. Highly recommend if you like need something super easy to make for like a party or a potluck or something like that. 
It's so good. I am gonna end the vlog here because I'm actually starting another video today, but I wanted to show you guys what I got for my white elephant gift, what I ended up winning. I'm so excited. You guys, look. Look at her, I've always wanted a fiddle leaf, or what are, you, what are you calling these, fiddle leaf fern? It's so beautiful, it's so tall. Dirtle is unsure about it, but oh my god. I, don't, I just need to like figure out where I wanna put it. I don't know if it'll fit in my room or like in the living room, I already have so many plants. Okay, so that is it for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna keep making more and more of these like weekly vlogs and stuff, so hopefully you like them because there's more coming for you. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.